welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I am getting ready for a very fancy evening this evening. Yes. So we're going to watch me get ready and I'm going to make a cocktail in a little bit. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right. So now we're going to make our cocktail. I've chosen the basil gimlet. Yeah. Hear me out. There is normally a, it's typically done with gin, vodka, um, tequila, you can do any of those kind of gimlets, it's mostly just an alcohol with lime juice. Um, so I saw a recipe, I think it was on popsugar.com, um, it has, it's basil, so it's basil leaves and we are going to get started on that. First, get your basil leaves, fresh basil leaves is what you want. Four to five of them, so I have four of them in my hand. Then you can use agave nectar or a simple syrup, and so what I did is I still have some of this honey. Um, syrup left over, so I'm going to use this. So half an ounce of syrup. Right into our glass. You always want some sort of lubrication to do your muddling, otherwise it's gonna come out being all a little weird and then actually release all the juices. <laughs> then we're going to add our ice to this mixture. Using vodka, so it's gonna be two and a half ounces, two and a half ounces of vodka and then three-fourths of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Strain into a martini glass and garnish with a little bit more basil. Let's try it. It's delicious. Ooh, I like the basil flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you try these cocktails at home. This is definitely one that you probably have most of the stuff in your pantry. Enjoy! Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a get ready with me. Yes, I am a little bit tanner than normal, so I'm gonna spray tan. And so if I look a little bit splotchy, that is why. My hands are darker than my face. Because I am a little bit tanner, I cannot use my normal base uh, foundation because it is um, a lot lighter and so I'm using one of my old ones that I used a lot this summer Scratch. a lot this summer because I was tanner obviously and so I'm going back to that one just for tonight this is a special evening this evening yes so we'll be getting ready for a special occasion first gonna start with the glorious face and eye primer I love this primer you can put it all over your face and all over your eyelids so you don't have to have two products. Yeah, pretty awesome. The darker foundation that I used this summer was going to be the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. This one is in the shade Light 45. I, um, I'm still pretty light, so it's not that I'm not, I'm not dark, obviously. But this is a, a great foundation, 24 hour wear, stays on like your tattoos. That's why it's a great great foundation but it's not the one I normally use every day I like my unique foundation love it and I will always use it every single day this is just what I'm gonna use while I tan and I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 brush concealer I'm gonna use the mineral touch skin perfecting the unique concealer I love this concealer so much oh it's amazing <laughs> and my morphe e20 brush just a little dot at a time all right since I am very light. This is very light on my face. Yeah, so we're gonna set the concealer uh, mostly so that I cre can create a highlight lighter than what's already on my face so that I can darken a little bit more of a contour because I'm gonna need that because this is not 100% my face color. Obviously, it's so hard to, to kind of perfect if you self tan. <laughs> with the beach matte bronzer in the shade Sunset.
for my blush, I'm going to use the Moonstruck Minerals Pressed Blusher in the shade Sweet. I love this one. And I'm going to use my Sigma F40 brush because it's going to get that nice chiseled cheekbone. For my highlight, I'm going to be using the Moonstruck Minerals Pigment in Sweet. I'm going to pour that into here, and we're going to use that same contour brush that I used on setting my uh, concealer. It's the Real Techniques um, Contour Brush. I like this for highlight because it really sets on it nicely. Uh, Cupid's bow at the tip of the nose, the bridge nose in between your brows. It kind of creates a highlight like a big cross, you see? So it's going to go here, 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 and a little bit on your cheeks. Yep. And that's all it is. Now my face is done, I'm going to start on my eyes. We're going to use mostly the Moonstruck Addiction number 2 palette. And then I have a dual ended brush. This is um, a really good brush. It's, I've always used it for a lot of funky eyes, I guess you could say. It's the All Over Crease, um, All Over Shadow Crease Brush. It's the It Cosmetics um, brush for uh, Ulta, I guess. So it's one of their cheap brushes. I really like it um, for, for smoky eyes. We're going to start with the shade in Honorable, and then it's going to go all the way over the lid. For the transition shade we're going to use in the palette one, this is going to be the one in Chipper. I use it a lot for transition. You definitely need it, especially when you're doing smoky eye because you don't want to really get punched in the face. Okay. Then we're going to take the shade Cocky and we're going to go into the crease with that and kind of blend it over. I want a center highlight, but a smoky eye. Make sense? Okay. But avoid the center of the lid. We're gonna highlight with that. So avoid that as much as possible and kind of go around it. We're going to take Perplexed and we're going to go right over that as well. Sometimes I might take a little bit of cocky, or excuse me, sometimes I might take a little bit more of the chipper and kind of go into the crease and blend it even more. And then I'm going to take Sincere in the palette one and a clean brush. And I'm going to put that on the inner corners and under the brow. Bone. So first, I'm going to put a cream down and then I'm going to put a little bit, and that way I put a little bit more of another shimmer in the center to make it pop, sparkle. So for my cream, I'm going to use Dreamy. I'm going to use the cream brush for that. It highlights the center of the eye. Blissful and kind of go on top of this shimmer just to give a little extra. And if you feel like the crease is getting a little too bright, go back through with your crease brush and go back in with cocky and darken it up a little bit. That's what I just did. Just to make sure that, that stays the color you want it. We sell a crease brush, but I actually prefer this brush to be on like the bottom as a pencil brush because it is such a thin, stouty looking brush. And so I will use it underneath because it makes a really good smoky eye with that. And so we're gonna use the same colors, 
we're gonna use the same colors that we did on the top to make sure we match the bottom. And that's how it works. Yeah. So we're gonna start with honorable because we started with honorable on our eyes. That's the best way to make sure the bottom doesn't get too out of hand. Make sure you kind of go in the same order you did on top. And then cocky. This one doesn't go all the way to the end. It only goes to about middle and kind of sweep inward. You don't want to take the actual product and go all the way to the tear duct because it will create a raccoon eye and you don't want that. Nobody wants a raccoon eye. Okay, so my camera just died and I decided to do one eye and then I'm gonna show you how I did this eye on this eye. <laughs> how does that sound? <laughs> so, since we went with a Kat Von D foundation, I'm gonna go with the Kat Von D liner. Why do you all like a tattoo face, I guess is what you wanna say. <laughs> Kinda why did I go for a theme? Are you ready? No? I don't know. I feel really weird with two faces. I'm gonna create my wing. I like to start in the middle. Can't really talk while I'm doing this. So yeah, I like to start in the middle and I like to create my wing first. As close to the lash line as possible because you are gonna be filling in with a regular pencil but you still want to make sure there's no gaps if you're using black liner. Waterline, I'm going to use the Moonstruck Precision Pencil Eyeliner in Perfect. Up and bottom, top and bottom. Curl your lashes. I got the Kudos, the Genie Wear Kudos um, eyelash curler. If you are interested and you want to purchase anything from me, it is currently sold out in the month of January already. However, I did snag a couple, so I got a couple. If you want to get some from me, let me know. Maybe I could ship to you. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Just let me know if you're interested. And the mascara. I have the Precision Brow Aligner in Medium. I'm going to spoolie the other end. Excuse me. I'm going to brush out the other end with the spoolie. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> We're going to take the liner and line it out, and then we're going to use the gel after that. Then with the gel, I only really use it on the front part, so like the big part of your eyebrow right here, um, just to make it a little bit more natural and not penciled in. It's gonna be just a little more gel, and it's also gonna let your um, eyebrows stay. And so you always want that to happen. You don't want them to wash off later. All right, for my lips, I'm going to use a lip liner in Pouty. This is gonna be the Moonstruck Precision Lip Pencil in Pouty. And then I'm going to use Loaded. This is what I'm wearing this evening. Loaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Please follow or subscribe and like the video and share it and um, share with all of your friends. I really, really, truly appreciate it. <laughs> uh, you can find me on any social media. I'm gonna be on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. Uh, you can email me. <laughs> I'm gonna be on everything, so you can always contact me and you can always comment below. So yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope this was entertaining or um, enlightening or you learned a new trick. 
that's what I'm here for. Uh, yeah, so have a great evening and have a fantastic week. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Done, not done, done, not done. My hair is, I want my hair back and forth. So, ah. Peter! What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And there you have it. <laughs>